My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me? Dear child of God, those words were the words of Jesus on the cross. Those were the Psalms that Jesus cried to God, to his Father in heaven. He cried and said, My God, why have you forsaken me? Dear child of God, Sometimes you are at that point that you are lifting up your eyes to heaven and you are crying to God, Why have you forsaken me? Sometimes you are crying, you are looking up to heaven and saying, Why have you left me all by yourself? Sometimes you are crying and you are telling God, Why are you so far from helping me? Why are my words not getting to you? Are you at that point right now that you see as though God I deserted you. You seem as though God have left you all by yourself. I want to assure you that God is with you. I want to assure you that you would have the victory at the end of the day. This was the Psalms that Jesus prayed on the cross. This was the Psalm that Jesus cried to the Father, saying to the Father, please come to my rescue. And at the end of the day, it seemed as though he was giving no attention. You see him as though the strength he needed, he did not get so that we may be saved. Dear child of God, you may be at that point right now when you are crying to God every day. You are crying night and day, but you see him as if there is no response. You see, David cried to God because at the time that Jesus said these words to the Father, was relaying the same words that David had cried to God over. At the time he was in his distress, at the time that he seemed to be forsaken, at the time he was hiding in the cave, at the time he was seeking for shelter, at the time his life was in danger, he cried, he said to God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me? You may be asking God right now, why are you so far from helping me? What have I done to deserve these things? What have I done to be in pain? What have I done to be languishing in pain every day? What have I done to get silence from you? Because at the time that Jesus cried, there was no response. The heavens were silent. Dear child of God, has the heaven become silent? Has God become silent? Does it seem as though you have been waiting for the voice of God, but you have gotten nothing? You have been waiting for God to come to your rescue, but you got nothing. I want to assure you, dear child of God, God will come through for you. God will come through to your rescue, and you will see that his hands will enclose you. You will see that his hands will grab you, and the plans of the enemies, the plans that the evil ones had intended against your life the plans of the devil will not succeed at that time he was crying he said he test for god he was looking for god to appear to him to show up so that he will be rescued he was seeking for the face of god dear child of god are you seeking the face of god today are you in some health situation and the same as though there is no change you have tried everything possible but no medication is working on your body anymore. Dear child of God, did they say to you that this is where it will end? This is the end of the road for you. Have you been told that you should forget about it? You should forget about it and make your home because this will be the end of the journey for you. I want to assure you that it is not the end yet. God will come through for you. God will appear to you. God will see your tears. Ah, he knows that your tears had become your meat night and day. He knows your tears had become your food. He knows that you have cried for a change. You have cried for a change to come and no change is approaching. No change is forthcoming. I want to assure you, dear child of God, you will not be cast down forever. You will not be cast down for life. God will come through. He will come through and he will lift you up. He will bring you out from the merry clay. He will bring you from what the enemies had planned to ruin your life. Dear child of God, you know that you are sinking. You know you are going down. 
You know that everything is shutting down in your system. You have been crying to God. You have been asking God to rescue you, but there has been no rescue. I want to assure you, you will see God's mighty intervention. He will come and change everything. He knows that you are sad. He knows that you are down. You see, David said in Psalms 42 verse 11, he says, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? Why art thou disquieted within me? Then he said, Hope thou in God, dear child of God. At that point, you are crying to God and saying to him, You have not heard me. You have not attended to me. It seems as though my words are falling to deaf ears. It seems as though you are not giving me attention. It seems as though you are not concerned about me. It seems as though you are not the faithful God that you say you are. Dear child of God, you may be at that point, but hope in God. Because he says to himself, why are you cast down? Jesus receives strength at the end of the day. Dear child of God, at the time he was crying to God, looking up to God, and there was no response. At the time he was looking up unto God and nothing happened. Dear child of God, what Jesus said was his own strength sustained him. His hand brought him salvation. He received the strength that was within him already. And then he finished the race. He would say it is finished. He achieved the course that he went right there to do. Dear child of God, until it is over, it will not be over for you. And this is what I want to assure you of. It will not be be over for you. David then began to say, I would hope in God, for I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God, my Lord. He said God is the health of his countenance. And then he began to receive life. Life began to surge into him. Then everything began to change. His deeper most began to call on God and he saw a rescue. He saw that he was delivered. He saw that he was brought out of the cave and then he returned to the throne. He got back to the place that he was meant to be. Dear child of God, I want to assure you that this is not how your life would end. You may be crying and it may look as though it has fallen on deaf ears, but be rest assured of this. God will come to your rescue. God will see you through. And that strength he has placed inside of you will sustain you to the very end. When Jesus prayed and cried to God and he got no response, then his strength brought him salvation. Receive that strength today from the Most High God that will bring you that change that you so desire. Because God is there, it may look as though God is silent, but you will so see him show up in a dramatic way. And everything will turn around for the best in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, they may have planned that this would end your life, but God has the final say. You see, man may propose all the things that they want, but God will dispose all of their evil propositions. He says they will fail. He says that their hands will not be able to carry out their enterprise. So if it is a man that is behind it, if it's some demons from the pit of hell, if it is some people that did not want to see you progress, dear child of God, I want to assure you that they would all fail. They would not succeed. It will come to an end every of the intentions that they had against you. Every of your evil plans will fail in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord help you to come out stronger and come out better. In the mighty name of Jesus. And all that they had meant for evil, God will turn to good. Dear child of God, all that they meant for evil, God will make it your testimony. Yes, they thought that that was the end of you. And so they brought the mess to you. But you will discover God will bring a message out of you. And it will shock them all. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please hold on to God and be strengthened. Hold on to God and be strengthened, dear child of God. It is not over for you. God may not be responding, but in due time, He will respond. He said He has stored your tears in His bottle. 
Dear child of God, in due time, he will come to your rescue. He knows when to show up. You see, Lazarus was long dead. But God knows what he was doing. He showed up. Even when it seemed as though it was late, he showed up and turned everything around. God will show up. It is never too late for him to show up. You may be asking the Lord today, please send me your word. I want to see you show yourself strong and mighty. I want to see you show your face in the rightest of time. When it seems as though everything has dimmed off, God will show himself. He will turn everything and then you will rejoice again in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive strength from the Lord to get it through life. Receive strength from the Lord to stand out and to stand strong in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be defeated. You will not be disappointed. You will not be reproached in life in the mighty name of Jesus. God will see you through to the very end. And you would have the reason to raise your banner and praise the name of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Remember David said, he said to himself, why are thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God. He began to strengthen himself. He began to find hope in God. Then he said, For I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. And everything changed for the best. He got back on track and he had a victory. Dear child of God, you would have the victory. Please don't lose hope. Because when you lose hope, you are losing everything. Hope defers. The word of God says, Made the heart sick. Please don't lose hope. It may not be coming, but stay on God. Stay on God. Stay on course. Because at the end of the day, you would have your reason to testify. You would have your reason to rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus. They may have thought it is over, but dear child of God, I want to assure you, God has not begun with you yet. And when they see you bounce back, they will be shocked. And every single one of them will hide their faces in shame knowing that God had turned your story around and given you a great breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. You would have reasons to testify. You would have reasons to rejoice, knowing that Yahweh has done you well in Jesus' mighty name. It is well with you. It is well with your soul. It is well with your life. It is well with your family. Your situation will turn around because God will be with you. God will help you. But do well not to lose hope because you will come out stronger and better and the enemies will all be in shock and this is how God will silence them all in Jesus mighty name Amen It is well with you beloved God bless you and Shalom